What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we got another bus penetration video. This is going to be the fourth and final bus penetration video that we do. And this is going to be just an all around fun video. This is not really going to have any technical skills to it or anything like that. Uh, we are going to be talking about buoyancy and trim and things like that. but. We're just all about having fun in this video, and that's what I want to get across to you about scuba in general. you got to have fun. No matter how technical of a dive is, you still got to have fun to enjoy that dive and really learn from it as well. So my daughter's going to be making an appearance in this video. She's going to be in back mount. I, of course, will be in side mount. But I want to talk about the penetrations throughout the dive, and then, like I said, I really want to iterate to you guys, you need to have fun when you're underwater. Um, and to give you a little background, you guys have already seen three bus penetrations. This is going to just be a simple penetration through a door, through a window, nothing really fancy. And yes, this is considered a swim through. This is not a cave. It is an overhead environment, but it's just a swim through by standards. So when you see a, a younger diver, such as my daughter, doing this, it's not something that you've got to panic. Now, with that being said, of course, I don't want to encourage children to go out there and do this without proper training and proper supervision. And not just children, divers in general. You need to make sure that you're properly trained on how to make penetrations, how to negotiate whether it's a swim through, it's a cavern, a cave, things like that. But in this case, of course, she is my daughter. She has been properly trained, and she's pushing nearly 400 dives in the last year and a half. So I think she's qualified to make these dives. That being said, let's go ahead and jump into the video itself. And you'll see that she's choosing to go through a window here. Even in back mount with her small stature, she can very easily fit through the window here. And she's just going to go ahead and plop down and take a seat. Now, what makes this video so fun for me is that her mother, Tessa's mom, my, my wife, used to be a school bus driver. For several years, she drove a school bus for our local school system. So this was kind of her paying homage to her mom there. Now, once she gets in, she's going to reach up. You're going to see she's going to adjust mirrors and things like that. Everything that we're teaching her now at a young age about driving on the road, she's kind of taking that to heart underwater. But once she gets set, she's gonna make her first stop. She's gonna pick up her first passenger. And if you can't already tell, of course that passenger is gonna be me. We're gonna go ahead and kind of dissect and break down my penetration here. Now my penetration, I'm not actually removing bottles. I'm not gonna be winging bottles or anything like that. I'm just going to cant my body so that I can get through a narrower space when I'm gonna have a lot wider profile because of side mount. So I'm just gonna kind of cant my body and just do what's called that push and pull method where I just kind of push myself or pull myself through. And then of course I'm gonna take a seat because that's what the bus driver there is telling me to do is take a seat get comfortable and let's see if she can give me a ride to school and, and keep me safe. So I'm gonna wave bye to my family, you know, bye mom and dad, going to school and the bus driver's just taking me to school. Now what I do want you to notice is how is she sitting in the chair? She is just not plumped down with her tank, uh, breaking off pieces of the metal or stirring up. As you can tell, we are not really stirring up anything here. And then of course, once we get to school, she is gonna say, hey, we're at school, it's time to go in. And of course, I'm going to exit the bus, and same thing with my exit point here. I'm going to camp my body so that I can fit through this narrower section. And then of course, I think she's going to actually go out the, uh, the window again that she came in. But it's a neat little fun penetration for you guys to do. Yes, this is considered just a swim through by most training standards. And this is something that you can do with proper training and proper supervision. You can by all means have just as much fun as we did here in this video as well. But I'm gonna play the teaser part of it again real quick for you, um, just to show you how much fun you can have here. Um, it's just a fun place to go diving. It's a fun place to practice your skill sets. It's almost kind of a controlled environment. There's no current, there's really no thermocline at this depth. It's crystal clear. You can see, I've even been here when there's been tons and tons of people diving and it's still relatively clear enough that you can make this penetration. You can go through this swim through uh, very easily without any difficulties and you can have fun doing it as well. But yep, that's that's what this dive's all about. It's about fun. That's what I'm doing here. I'm riding the school bus. I'm letting my daughter give me a ride to school. And then of course once uh, once we get to school she'll she'll let me out and then go on about her day. But yep, yeah, nice little fun dive. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would encourage you to get out there with your kids. Take them diving. You don't necessarily have to take them over into an overhead environment. Like I said, unless they got proper training and proper supervision, don't let them do this. Obviously my child does have that. 
But uh, yeah, it's an all-around fun dive for us. It's going to be a fun dive for you as well. But guys, I do hope you understand, you don't have to make diving too technical. It is about fun and fun alone, in all honesty. It's about learning stuff and enjoying your time underwater. But guys, stay tuned. We do have several more in this series of penetrations coming out. Um, so if you got any questions on them, please let me know. But if you got a question on this specific video or any comments or concerns, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer it as quickly as I can. Uh, if, if you did like the video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.